you never know when a Bugatti is going to come. <laughs> a Bugatti is going to come into the shop or a Lamborghini right there. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. How to keep your X-Tool scanner up to date. It's really complicated. Takes a lot of effort. Nah, that's not what we do here at the shop. This is a pretty easy process I'm going to show you. So after you boot, boot your tool up, you'll see a introductory home screen like this. And on the top right, it talks about updates. This was just powered on out of the box coming from the factory. And it tells me there are 120 updates. And so it's in your best interest to always keep this device up to date. When you buy it brand new and register it, your time starts with Xtool and you get uh, some number of years of free updates and after that you have to pay for each year that you want updates And so it doesn't mean you have to pay every year after that But it does mean if you want updates you have to pay for a one-year subscription. So uh, the updates here are Across many different vendors or manufacturers Volvo Toyota Ford um, There's a bunch of European stuff Mercedes Jaguar Daewoo Bugatti Buick, etc. And so several several updates I'm going to hit the update all button, but I'm out in the garage right now where Wi-Fi signal is not as strong. So I'm going to hit the update all button when I go in the house and I'm going to time how long it takes to do all these updates. Wouldn't surprise me if it's like a 30, 40 minute process because there's a lot of data that needs to be downloaded. And that's just par for the course with these types of things. You want to make sure that you get a device where the vendor is constantly pumping out updates because that means they're actively developing and actively fixing issues and increasing the functionality of this box. If you get a box that it's like, oh, you don't need updates for you know, a long period, years at a time, a year at a time, it tells you that the vendor's not actively developing it and any bugs are gonna be, you know, you're gonna have to live with them for a long time. So uh, that's one thing I, that I've noticed about the x product line is they have updates weekly. Like every single week I turn on my D7, there are updates. Not they don't always apply to you. You can choose to not download them, by the way. You can, uh, only pick the ones you want, but it's just it's easier to just update the whole thing, and you never know when a Bugatti is going to come. <laughs> a Bugatti is going to come into the shop, or a Lamborghini right there. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I'll start the timer, and we'll update this when we get in the house. Okay, so I'm in a much better Wi-Fi location, and I would think you would only want to do updates if your battery has a decent charge on it. This has a 45% charge. It came that way from the factory. I have not actually charged this uh, by hooking up the USB cable. It did take a little bit of charge when I hooked it up to the OBD2 port in my car a moment ago. And so I will get my timer going and I hit start and now I'm gonna hit update all and you'll see they all start to download. It shows you your rate of Data transfer on the top right, showing at 3.6 megabits per second, sorry, bytes per second. So eight times that would be the megabits per second. So we're over 100 megabits per second, which is pretty good. I think I'm on a 2.4 gigahertz network. So that's probably as good as you're going to get, I guess. It says it's downloading 116 updates. That download rate may fluctuate as it finishes a module and then starts installing a module and downloads another one. Oh, here we go. I should have at the top of the list to show. So it's already completed some and we're now at the installing phase if you have interest in any particular module uh, immobilizer chrysler let's pick that so it it will give you a short description of what was actually resolved improve the function of reading pin code for some models so you know you you can decide which modules you want to install based on the description but again i recommend just keeping everything up to date so this is kind of like watching paint dry it's good to set this up to do the download when you're not actively trying to use the machine because it does take a while and some modules take more than other more time than others it's worth noting that even while it's downloading you can back out and still use the tool and if you happen to be in wi-fi range when you're near your vehicle you can do you know regular functions with it while it's updating so it's not like it's tied up so it's counting down we still have 98 left to download and uh, it's been three mi four minutes now, so it's gonna be a while. So after about 10 minutes, the uh, screen went dark, and when I refreshed the screen or woke the machine up, it says network anomaly, please check the network. I don't know if there was a network anomaly, but you can see several of the modules completed, but the downloading has stopped. So basically, if you back out, went from 120 or so down to 58, you go back in and it just shows the remaining modules and you can say 
update all again. So you can keep doing it until they all update. There may be a sleep timer on this that you could adjust to make it so that it doesn't go to sleep. I'm not sure that going to sleep was related to the network anomaly, but anyway, it's not a big deal. I've seen this before on the D7. If I back out, go back in, it starts downloading the remaining ones and you move on from there. Yeah, for all the Maybex I'm going to be diagnosing right there. That's just great to have. Okay, so it's only got four left to download, it says. Pretty exciting, four left. Whatever this Mercedes-Benz module is, is taking a while to bring that down. The update screen, oh, now it just shows the four remaining. Down to one more. All software up to date, you can back out. Shows four updates there, but we'll go back in. And after it installs some updates, it's possible that only then it's eligible for additional updates. So I know that says four there, but yeah, there it goes. So. That's how easy it is to update the Xtool scanner family of products. It's pretty easy. It did take 27 minutes the first time, but every time thereafter, it's only gonna update one, two, three, four uh, modules. It's gonna take less than a minute. So once a week, once a month, you can hit the updates button and you'll be waiting for one or two minutes. So that's how easy it is. Good luck with your use of the scanner if you like to watch videos about scanner diagnosis, please subscribe because my channel is going to have a lot of videos on different types of tools and diagnostic methods.